Hi friends, welcome to AK Electric YouTube channel. In this video, we will see insulation dissipation factor and capacitance test for transformer windings. First, we will see the principle of the test. AC voltage about 10 kV have to inject for HV windings and with measurement cable from LV winding to testing kit, we will measure milliampere and watts vice versa. Same procedure have to follow for secondary windings and tertiary windings. Ok, we will see the purpose of the test. This test is used to find the insulation condition of transformer windings. Secondly, it is used to find the dissipation factor and capacitance of windings. Last, it is used to find the healthiness of transformer windings. This is the testing kit called Mega Delta 4000 which is used for power factor test for transformer windings and bushings etc. Here, testing kit accessories I have shown. Safety hand switch interlock, measurement blue cable, high voltage cable, Measurement red cable, crown cable are used for accessories in this testing kit. What is GSD G? Grounded specimen test guard. Here G means guard. Guard means excluding some currents. In this test mode, some specific currents were not measured or not included in test. For example, GSD GR. It means current in red cable will not taken into account. Red cable current guarded or eliminated. GSD GB it means current in blue cable will not taken into account blue cable current guarded or eliminated GST GRB it means current from red and blue cable will not taken into account red and blue cable current guarded or eliminated GST GA it means current in A cable will not taken into account A cable current guarded or eliminated in this slide we will see test modes of GST and UST combinations there is totally seven combinations from most of the testing kit which is used for testing purpose. Testing kit has one power cable injection, one red cable, one blue cable, one ground cable. In some testing kit will have A and B cable instead of red and blue cable. One can observe from the UST combinations that UST R will measure only input red cable but not input blue cable and ground cable. UST B will measure only input blue cable but not input R cable and ground cable. UST R plus B will measure both input A and B cable but not measure ground cable since it is UST mode. One can observe from the GST combination that GST ground will measure ground cable current and also measure red and blue cable current. GST R mode will measure blue cable and ground cable but not measure red cable and in GST GB mode will measure red cable and ground cable but not measure blue cable. GST G plus R plus B mode will measure only ground cable but not measure both R and B cable. Power factor test for transformer windings. Test procedure. Ensure transformer should be oil filled and ensure transformer is in de-energized condition. Transformer neutral should be disconnected from earth. Test kit and transformer body should be earthed. HV bushing terminal should be short circuited separately and LV bushing terminal should be short circuited separately. Ensure all bushing current transformer are short circuited and tap changer position should be in middle. Note down oil temperature and ambient temperature at the time of testing. Test kit, HV power cable, LV power cable, red and blue cable should be connected to transformer bushing according to test mode and measurement of capacitance. Test modes and test types should be selected from the testing kit. 10 kV voltage should be injected to the transformer. Once the test finished, results should be corrected to temperature correction factor at 20 degrees Celsius. Finally, test result should be evaluated. In this slide, we will see test on UST or mode CHL type. Transformer body should be earthed. LV site neutral should be disconnected from earth. Transformer HV bushing terminal RYB should be short circuited and also LV bushing terminal short circuited as shown in circuit diagram. One can observe from the circuit diagram that high voltage cable from testing kit should be connected to the HV bushing terminal. Red cable from the testing kit should be connected to the LV bushing terminal as shown in the circuit diagram. Ground cable from this testing kit should be connected to the transformer body which is earthed. Since this test connection is UST or this mode do not measure transformer ground cable current. Even though ground cable from the testing kit is connected to the transformer body which is earthed. 
In CHL type, capacitance is measured between HV winding and LV winding. One can also observe that HV and LV winding were not grounded. Capacitance current circulation starts from testing kit's HV cable, HV bushing, LV bushing and finally closed in red cable in testing kit as marked in red arrows. In this slide we will see test on GSTG or mode CH type. One can observe from the circuit diagram that high voltage cable from the test kit is connected to the HV winding terminal. Ground cable from the test kit is connected to the transformer body which is earthed. Red cable from the test kit is connected to LV winding bushing terminal as shown in circuit diagram. Since the test mode is GSTG or R cable current is guarded that is eliminated but only measure ground cable current. In CH type capacitance is measured from HV winding bushing terminal to transformer body as shown in the circuit diagram. This test is noted as CH or CHG. Capacitance current circulation shown in red arrows in the circuit. It starts from HV cable, HV bushing, HV winding, transformer body, ground cable and finally ended in test kit. Blue cable will not use the here. If it connect to the transformer at any part then also it will not taken into consideration. In this slide we will see test on GSTGR mode for CL type. One can observe from the circuit diagram that high volt cable from the test kit is connected to LV winding bushing terminal. Ground cable from test kit is connected to transformer body which is earthed. Red cable from test kit is connected to HV winding bushing terminal as shown here. Since the test mode is G GST G or R cable current is guarded or eliminated but only measure ground cable current as shown in red arrows. In CL type capacitance is measured between LV winding bushing terminal to transformer body as shown. It is called as CL or CLG. Capacitance current circulation is shown in red arrows in the circuit. Current starts from HV cable which is in test kit then to LV bushing then LV winding then transformer body then ground cable and finally ended in test kit. Blue cable from test kit will not used in this test. If used also measure current will not taken into consideration for capacitance measurement. This is the test report for two winding transformer. It is 67 MVA transformer test report. One can observe from the test report that this test was made at oil temperature 20.8 degrees Celsius and ambient temperature at 18 degrees Celsius. Observe the test report. In next coming slides, we will analyze the test report part by part. Manufacturer in factory will test transformer at some temperature but in site same transformer will be tested with different temperature. So test report comparison will be difficult. In order to overcome such problems, it is necessary to convert test results to a reference temperature base commonly at 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degree Fahrenheit. So transformer correction factor table is used for that purpose. This table will differ according to transformer make with cold countries and warm countries. Test report analyze for correction factor. This test was done on oil temperature 20.8 degrees Celsius. Keep in mind the dielectric cost of most insulation increases with temperature. In our case transformer insulation depends upon temperature rise or lower. Transformer winding and oil life also depends upon temperature. Manufacturer in factory will test transformer at some temperature but in site same transformer will be tested with different temperature. So comparison of test report will not possible. So to overcome such problem it is necessary to convert test result to a reference temperature base commonly at 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degree Fahrenheit. For all temperature there is a correction factor called K. One have to convert accordingly. For example one can observe from the test report that test made at oil temperature 20.8 degrees Celsius. So now one have to convert it for reference temperature 20 degrees Celsius. As in before slide one can observe for 20 degrees Celsius the correction factor is 1. Temperature correction factor table differs with transformer make. Transformer site measured value is 0 0.20 will be multiplied by correction factor 1. We will get same 0 0.20 as shown in the test report. Test report analyze for capacitance. Capacitance value of transformer is measured at site by different modes and different type as shown here. Summation of 2 and 3 test value will be equal to test 1 value that is 3475.4 plus 5915.6 will give us 9391. Like this measured test result of CH plus CHL one can confirm. Test 1 minus test 2 will confirm test 3 that is 9391.6 
minus 3475.4 will give us 5915.6 like this one can confirm test result 3 test 1 minus test 3 will confirm test 2 that is 9391.6 minus 5915.6 will give us 3476 like this one can confirm test result 2 summation of 5 and 6 test value will be equal to 4 test value that is 8539.4 plus 5915.2 will give us 14454.6 like this one can confirm test 4 results remaining results for 567 also can be confirmed in such a manner here capacitance is equal to all combinations hence it is accepted test report in this slide we will analyze overall test report column 7 is injected voltage from test kit that is 10 kV column 8 is measured milliampere which is called leakage current column 9 is measured watts which is called losses column 10 is very important in this test test is made at oil temperature 20 degrees Celsius test results is in pico farad column 11 is measurement of power factor which should be less than 0.5 percent in this test all the results were less than 0.5 percent so it is acceptable test report if the power factor is more than 0.5 percent then the transformer required for investigation might be aging or physical damage or moisture content more i hope this video is informative to everyone if you like this video subscribe like and click the bell icon thank you